on the back. Yeah. All right, hey everybody. Uh, today I am at Bullet, uh, and I am doing a barrel pick. So I haven't done a Bullet barrel pick before, so I wanted to walk you guys through the process and just kind of show you what uh, what we've got. So it's not completely dissimilar to the way Four Roses or MGP has codified things. Um, they've got five different yeast strains and two different mash bills, pretty similar to those. So I'll just go through that. So there's mash bill um, E, which is the 21% rye, and there's mash bill B, which is the 36% rye. So you'll be familiar with those. And then the yeast strains are just one, two, three, four, five, and they've got different flavor characteristics that go with them. So today I, today I looked at five different barrels and chose two. And the first one is a B1. So this is uh, the high rye, and it's the number one yeast strain, which has got this kind of banana leather note, and that is right here. So you can kind of just take a look at that. Um, these will all be bottled at 104 proof. And this one, even though they don't, they're not doing age statements because I feel like in barrel picks, if they do an age statement, obviously nobody's going to pick the lower age ones. Uh, so I get why they don't like say that but this one uh is looks smells tastes quite a bit older than the other so um you get a little bit of that leather note right up front a little bit of that oak spice um that leather is certainly there as a part of that yeast strain let's take a sip yeah i love the combination of that high rye mash bill which is going to provide a lot of the fruit combined with that banana leather and then that oak spice at the end that you get from the age. So this is this is a very low yield barrel, so there's only gonna be seven cases of this, um, but this is a B1 bullet pick and I, and I really love it. Okay, the next one we did is five, which is all the way over here. I'll just transfer that into the shot. Um, this is an E2. So this is the 21% mash bill. This is a ubiquitous mash bill. Everybody loves it. It's the workhorse of a lot of different places. Um, and this is the number two yeast strain for Bullet, which is a really fruity yeast strain. So you get a little bit of a tropical fruit note here, um, maybe a little bit of orchard fruit, a little bit of red fruit. This is a really nice, elegant, balanced um, mash bill and yeast strain. All right, let's take a sip. Mm. Perfectly balanced, great weight, great mouthfeel. Um, you pick up a little bit of the oak on the side of the palate, but it's got a little bit more sweetness up front, a little bit more toffee and caramel and vanilla, some of those more traditional bourbon flavors. And it's just not as driven as that 36% rye, which always provides like a punch of fruit and spice. This is much more mellow, much more reserved, much more balanced, but still has that great weight on the mid palette, which is why I like it. And I think this one is also a little bit older. If you're just doing color comparisons, you can see the two we picked are a little bit older. So these are both going to be Bourbon World picks. They're going to be available at all the Bourbon World locations. So we're going to split them up, uh, but look for the B1 and the E2 Bourbon World picks. Um, haven't done a bullet pick before, but really impressed. Uh, great juice. Great, easy drinking, and I love and I love the 104 proof. I always say the perfect proof is 107. Big Weller fan, but uh, anything between 101 Wild Turkey and 107 in my book is a winner. So there you go. Cheers.